Okay. Yes. It's Pilates time. Um, so you'll need a mat, a little bit of space, and that's about it. Um, all right. So. Okay. Uh, let's start at the back end of our mat. And we're gonna get in the frame. Uh, yeah. Actually, let's start on our hands and knees. Got my warm up sequence here a little bit. So, hands right underneath those shoulders, knees right underneath those hips. And inhale, let that belly drop, reach that head in and tail up to the ceiling, and exhale, round over. Inhale into your cow. Exhale into cat. A couple more times. Warming up the spine. Try to use that breath. Initiate the movement. Last time. And exhale over into that cat. Tuck those toes under, inhale into neutral spine, exhale, push those hips up and find your downward facing dog. Walk those feet out. I always like to give a little wiggle in that first downward dog of class. Just find your position. Plant that left foot, reach that right leg up to the ceiling. Inhale and exhale, shift forward into your plank, knee to nose. Inhale, back up to the ceiling. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale up. Exhale, knee to nose. Last time, inhale up. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale up. Stretch that leg. Now, open your hips and then close your hips. So open those hips and close your hips. Two more. Open and close. Last one. Open. Close. Stay here. Tap that toe down. Lift it back up and seven, and six, and five, four, three, two, hold up one, little circles in, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, circle out for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, bring that foot down, drop those knees, add a few more cat-cow on your own breath, just to re reset that spine a little bit, let any tension go that might have accumulated. It's warm in my studio today. Whenever you're ready, inhale into neutral spine and exhale, push back into that downward facing dog. Walk those heels out a little bit. Make sure in this position that your shoulders aren't hanging onto your ears, right? There's some space in that position. Plant your right foot, lift that left leg up and just sit here. And stretch it forward, knee to nose, exhale. Inhale, stretch. And exhale, knee to nose. Two more. Inhale, stretch. Exhale, knee to nose. Last one. Inhale, stretch. Exhale, knee to nose. Back up into that single leg dog. Open those hips. And close those hips. Open those hips. And close the hips. 
Two more. Open those hips. I'm keeping my bottom leg bent so that I can use the strength in my hamstring and glute a little bit more and close those hips. Stay here, tap those toes down, lift it up. Tap it down, lift it up. Tap it down, lift it up. Tap it down, lift it up. Four more, four and three and two and one. Stay up, circle that leg in for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, circle out, four, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Bring that foot down, bring those knees down, and just rest in child's pose. Come back to all fours. Inhale, tuck those toes under. Exhale, push back into downward facing dog. Here, I'm gonna sink into my hips and then push myself forward into my plank. Sink into my hips, inhale. Exhale, push forward into plank. Sink into those hips, push forward into plank. Sink into those hips, <clears throat> push forward into plank. Sink into those hips, hold here. Drop that left knee. Bend the right uh, toes in, like heel to your butt. Tap your knee down, lift it up. Tap it down, lift it up. And three, and four, and five, and six, and seven, and eight. Straighten that leg out. Tap it down, tap. Lift, two, three, four, five, six, seven, hold up, eight, pulse it up, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, bring it down. Take a breath here, inhale, tuck those toes, exhale, push back into that downward facing dog. Really bend your knees, really bend your knees. Just to note, it doesn't necessarily, it's not wrong to have straight legs in a downward dog, but in this specific exercise, we wanna bend those knees because we're gonna be pushing back and forth. Just wanted to clarify that. So, you're in your downward facing dog. So, we inhale, push, and exhale, plank. Inhale, push, and exhale, plank. Inhale, push, and exhale, plank. And inhale, push, and exhale, plank. Drop that right knee. Bend the left. We tap that knee to the floor and lift. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Straighten that leg out. Tap it down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, stay up, pulse it up, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, bring that knee down, child's pose. Roll up, interlace your fingers and just give those guys a little roll out. Make sure you go both ways if you can figure that out. There we go. All right, last uh, little plank series. So find your hands underneath those shoulders. When you're in this position too, like yeah, the, the wrist can get tired, but also don't let them do the whole work. So push weight into those fingertips Kind of like you're in sand, right? And you're trying to hold on to the sand. So, step your left foot back. 
And we did this one a, a couple weeks ago, and I really liked it, so I'm bringing it back. Now take your right foot and cross it in front. Oh, wait, sorry. Your left foot in front. Let's do this at first. So your left foot is in front, and your hips face the right. So you're in this kind of twisted plank. So I inhale here, and I exhale, push up. Inhale, twist. Exhale, push up. I'm going to change the breathing a little bit. So I want to inhale on the push up, and exhale, twist. Inhale, push up, and exhale, twist. Four more. Inhale up, and exhale, twist. Really ring out those obliques. And exhale, twist. Two more. Inhale up. And exhale, twist. Inhale, lift. And exhale, twist. And then eight half reps. We go in. Exhale. Two, three, four. Like a side crunch. Five, six, seven, eight. Bring those knees down. Child's pose. So on this, I'm really feeling that twist of my obliques every time I exhale and sit my hips into that twist. They're not sinking below um, my, my normal plank. I'm not like dipping them super low. It's just that twist and lift, twist. And then as I lift, there's a little inner thigh action right, that helps my pelvic floor push me up. And then I exhale, twist a little bit more the other way, right? So, last round. Hands underneath those shoulders. Step the left foot back. Now the right foot crosses in front and your hips twist to the left. Inhale, lift. And exhale, twist. 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 Two more. Inhale, lift. And exhale, twist. Inhale, lift. And exhale, twist. Eight half reps. Exhale. Two, three, four, five, Six, seven, and eight. Bring it down. Woo, okay. Fun stuff. So, step your feet back, find that plank one last time, and then walk your hands to your feet and roll up nice and slowly. So here, our feet are hip distance apart. I'm in that um, nice lifted stance, right? I'm not sinking into my low back. I'm lifting through my core. My glutes are kind of squeezed, not under, but squeezed forward, right? Those two connect. So here I'm gonna sit back into those heels. Inhale, exhale, lift. And inhale, exhale, lift. Inhale, exhale, lift. Reach those arms forward, push them back. Four more. Inhale, exhale, push. And two, and push. And three, and push. And four, and push. Sit down and stay. Now we're gonna lift those heels and keep moving the arms in that same pattern. So I push back, I reach forward. Push back, reach forward. Two. Three, four, four more each way. Really push back with those arms. Dig into the ball of the foot. And one, and one. Stay down, reach those arms forward. Pulse it up for eight, seven, six, five, Four, three, two, one. Roll, fold forward. 
Walk those hands out, walk those feet back. Find that plank. Last time here, we're gonna push. Inhale into the bear pose, exhale plank. Inhale, push back, exhale plank. Inhale, push back, exhale plank. Inhale, push back, exhale plank. Whew. All right, so. Hands underneath those shoulders, knees underneath those hips. Reach that one leg back. Then, so your right leg is back. Your left arm reaches up to the ceiling and then threads underneath that other arm. Reach it up to the ceiling and thread through. Reach it up to the ceiling, thread it through. Reach it up to the ceiling, thread it through, and come back. Drop that knee. Other side. So that left foot reaches. Now our right arm reaches up to the ceiling and thread that needle. Reach it up to the ceiling and thread that needle. Two more. Reach and twist. Last one, reach, and twist. Come back. Whew. Awesome, so get the sweat out of your eye, and then flip over. All right, so our feet are flat, knees bent a little bit. I'm going to reach my arms forward, then I'm going to fall back and tuck my pelvis, right? Do you guys see the difference? So if I sit up nice and tall, I fall back and then I tuck my pelvis, right? So that's that C curve. I like to also call it like the base of your seatbelt, right? That's kind of where that's hitting. I tighten the base of my seatbelt a little bit. So here, I'm going to lean back and I'm going to exhale lift. Inhale back, exhale left. Inhale back, exhale left. Inhale back, exhale left. Four more. Inhale back, exhale left. Inhale back, exhale left. Two more. Lift. Last one. Lift. Now, lean back. Reach that left arm behind you and close. Reach the right arm behind you. And close. Don't hit your bookcase. Reach the left. And close. Reach the right. And close. Four more. Four. And three. And two. And one. Stay here. Little pulses. Lift. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six, seven, eight, just because it's good for us, another eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, 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 one. Okay, sit up nice and tall, stretch those legs out, reach up and over a big ball, and fold forward. Keep those legs straight. Place your hands down behind you. Roll those shoulders back and squeeze those hips up to the ceiling. Stretch out those hip flexors. And then lower those hips. Beautiful, beautiful. From this position, let's, let's take our an eight count to lower all the way down. Inhale, exhale, curve that pelvis, eight, seven, Six, five, four, three, two, one. Bring your feet flat on the mat, hands behind your head. Inhale here, exhale, lift, and down, and two, and down, 
and three, and four, and five, and six, and seven, and eight. Hold here. Bring one knee in, put it down. Other knee in, put it down. Bring it in, put it down. Bring it in, put it down. Try both legs if you can. In, down, in, down, two, down, one, down. Now bring that right knee into tabletop, left knee into tabletop. Reach those arms forward. You know what's coming, or you should. <laughs> Here we go. Pulse it down. One, two, three, four, five, and exhale. Two, three, four, five, and inhale. Two, three, four, five, and exhale. Two, three. Reach the right leg. Inhale. Two, three, four, five, and bring it in. Three, four, five, and left. Two, three, four, five, and inhale. Two, three, four, five. Let's pick it up. We go and uh, extend and in. And inhale, two, three, four, five, and exhale, two, three, four, five, and inhale, two, three, four, five, and exhale, two, three, four, five, and switch, and switch, and switch, and switch. Keep that breath. Inhale, two, three, four, five, and exhale, two, three, four, five. One more. Inhale, two, three, four, five, and exhale, two, three, four, five. Ooh. Lovely. Lovely, lovely, lovely. All right, so put those heels, and put those feet down. Both feet together, knees together. So, arms are gonna reach, oops, I'm not gonna be able to do this because my fridge is right there. So, arms reach up to the ceiling. We're gonna squeeze those hips, lift it up, and lower down, and two, and lower down. And three, and lower down, four, four more, five, and six, and seven, and eight. Now lift those legs up. Now, I don't usually do this, but I've been playing with it, so I think it's fun. Lift those heels up. You might need to walk your toes in a little bit. Make sure your toes are still together, right? So here, now my arms are gonna reach up overhead and towards my feet. Tapping the mat uh, above your head and by your feet each time. I can't really do it above my head because my fridge is there. But <laughs> so I'm kind of going wider. But you're trying to stay in that neutral position <laughs> if you have this space, which I do not. And to and one. Now raise those arms up to the ceiling. Pulse those hips. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Hold up. Now both your arms and knees open and close. And two. And close. And three. And close. And four. And close. Four more. Five. And close and six, close, seven, and eight, close, drop those heels, bring those hips down, okay, so, hug those knees into your chest, bring your head off the mat, inhale here, exhale, everything stretches out, inhale in, exhale, everything out, Inhale in, exhale everything out. Inhale in, exhale everything out. Bring those knees back to tabletop, hands behind your head. Left leg stretches out, left elbow to right knee. And exhale, switch. And switch. And switch. And switch. And switch. And switch. Let's pick it up. We go switch, 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 switch. Let's go eight, seven, six, five, 
five, four, three, two, one. Hug those knees into your chest. Four. Step. Sit up. I hope I won't run into my desk here. <laughs> so you're sitting in this position. I'm going to come back. So I'm leaning on my elbows. Just like that. So I'm going to bring both those knees into my chest, squeezing my knees together. And then I lean them over to the left and they come back center. Lean them over to the right and they come back center. Try to keep your legs together. It's really hard on this one. At least it's hard for me. And come back center and over. Now, that's level one. Stay there if you want or reach them out, stretch them out, pull them in back to center. Don't kick your bookcase, Kim. That's it's hard. <laughs> reach, extend, pull in and over. Reach, extend, pull in and over. Now that was level two. You could stay at level two, go back to level one, stay at level one, go to level two, or extend those legs. Reach them over and pull them up. Reach them over. Pull them up, keep those shoulders away from your ears. Pull them up, reach them over, pull them up. Now stay here, extend your legs, and we corkscrew. Down and around, and lift. Other way, down and around, and lift. Down and around, and lift. Down and around, and lift. One more each way. Down and around, and lift, and down and around and lift. Woo! Push yourself up. Bring the bottoms of your feet together and stretch forward. Release those hip flexors. Lovely. Perfect. Okay. So, we got a little side lying sequence now. Come down to your, uh, yeah, your all the way down to your side. Can't read my own writing. <laughs> so, uh, all my weights are stacked, right? My head, my rib cage, my hips, and then my feet are extended out beyond that. Now, this top bottom, um, this top arm can push into the mat, kind of right by your sternum, right where your rib cage is. Don't have it up too high, right, or out too far. You want it nice and close so that you can actively stabilize yourself. So bring your heels to touch if you can, um, turning those legs out, right? Now both legs are gonna lift off the mat and lift and lower back down. Two and lower, three, and lower, four, lower, five, six, seven, challenge time. Lift both those legs up, top leg lifts up, down, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now the bottom leg lifts, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Turn those toes in. Top leg reaches forward, bottom leg reaches back, and you switch, and switch, and three, and four, and five, and six, and seven, and eight. Lovely. Bend those knees, a uh, slight bend. They don't have to be super close to you, and come up to your elbow. Elbow underneath those shoulders, feet stacked, knees stacked. So, I like to stretch my arm out, but you can also have it on your hips too, whichever one feels better. Inhale, exhale, lift, open those knees, and inhale down. Exhale, lift, 
and inhale down. And three, and down, and four, and down. Four more. You can also be here if this is better um, for you, for your arm. And two, stay up here. Now pulse that top leg. Open. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Come down. Now, one more variation. You're more than welcome to stay at the one we just did. Um, for some reason, my elbow needs a little bit more cushion. Um, for those of you using a mat, if your elbow's like kind of digging into the floor, some days it happens, some days it doesn't. Just depends on the day. You can always fold your mat over. Super easy. Um, so you can stay at the level we were just at, or you can add an extension. So I come up, extend, and down. Exhale, lift, and down. And three, and down. Or you're here. Four. Four more. Either level. Out. And two. And three. And four. Stay. Reach that arm over. Run into your fridge. Ah! Darn. <laughs> Lift that leg up. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Lower down. Ah, okay. I'm going to switch. Okay, so side on your sides. So, again, all my weights are stacked. My head, my ribs, I'm not, you know, splaying my ribs, right? They're pushed, or they're knit together, not pushed. They're knit together. And I have basically that same standing posture that we had, that we talked about earlier. So, uh, move a little bit more. Heels together, turn out those legs. Push into the mat with your top arm and lift those legs up. Eight and seven and six and five and four and three and two and one. Hold up. Lift that top leg. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Lift that bottom leg. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Turn those toes in. Top leg goes forward. Bottom leg goes back. And switch. Two, whoop. Three, four, I kicked something, five, and six, and seven, and eight. Rest. Bend those knees. Oh, I kicked my easel. <laughs> um, I was like, what was that? All right, so you're on your elbow, reaching that top arm up or behind your head or in your hips, doesn't really matter. So inhale here, exhale up and lift and open and down and two and down and three down and four and five and six and seven and eight. Whoops. <laughs> Hold up. Pulse that leg. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Calm down. I almost forgot the pulses that time. Whoops. So, round two, we have eight total. Whatever you did on the first side, you got to do on the second side. Okay? So, if you added the extension, here we go. Lift up, extend. So little space. <laughs> Sorry. Lift up two and down and three and down and four and down and five and down and six 
and down, and seven, last one, eight, hold, reach that arm forward, or overhead, lift up, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, come down, lovely, so, turn back into this seated position that we had. Make sure you have enough space behind you and you're not gonna run into your fridge. Hug those knees into your chest. Find that um, balance on your tailbone. And we inhale, roll back. Exhale, lift. Inhale, roll back. Exhale, lift. And three. And four. And five, and six, and seven, last one, eight, cross those ankles, roll all the way up, and come to your hands and knees. I'm actually going to turn around. So, inhale here, Tuck those toes under, exhale, find that downward facing dog like we had at the beginning. Walk those heels out. Walk your hands to your feet and roll up nice and slow. So, that neutral squat position again. Inhale, sit. Exhale, lift. That's that same position I was talking about when you're on your side, right? That's the same position you're here. You're not splayed. You're in that lifted position on your side, in your plank, standing, it's all the same. That was like one squat. <laughs> so we have seven more, here we go. Sit and lift. Inhale, exhale. And four, five, six, seven, and eight. Sit down. Pulse it out. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Stand up. Widen your feet to the edge of the mat. Turn those toes out. Inhale, sit. Exhale, lift. Inhale, sit. Everything is the same. It's just a little wider position of the feet. Three. And four. Five. Six. Seven. And eight. Last time, go down. Last set of pulses. Eight. Seven. Six. Five, four, three, two, one. Fold forward. Walk back out into that plank. Drop your knees and butt and pick your heels up. Now, keep those hands underneath those shoulders. We're not going wide. Those elbows are going to slide by your body. Tricep push-ups. Inhale down. Exhale, lift. Two, exhale, lift. Three, exhale, lift. And four, four more. Four, and three, and two, and one. Woo, child pose. Round up through that spine. Shoot your right foot outside of your right hand. Sit into that runner's lunge. Use your hands to 
come up. Now, even here, note, I'm still in that same position. I'm not extending my spine, right? I'm still lifted, neutral, and then I sit down. If that means you don't go down as far, so be it. You'll still get, you'll get a better stretch. Now, and it's important for this next stretch, whatever, arm, whatever leg is in front, the opposite arm lifts up. I'm gonna lift my chest just a little bit and reach over until I feel a stretch on the inside of my hip bone. That muscle is your psoas. P S O A S. P S O A S. But the P is silent apparently. And then reach out that arm to the back, all the way down and around. Both hands down. Keep that front foot where it is and shift those hips back. I like to keep a little bend in that hip and tilt. Now I can tilt my butt up to the ceiling and that'll stretch out that hamstring. It's not like those positions are bad, right? It's not bad that I can do that with my, with my back. It's when it becomes, it's when I use that position for a movement that, um, requires the other, right? If I'm constantly in a state of hyperextension in my low back, like obviously that's not a good thing, but if I have zero access to that extension, that's also not a good thing, right? Come forward, slide that leg back, and other side. Left foot by your left hand, sit into that runner's lunge. Come up, again, check in with those hips. Whatever leg is in front, the opposite arm reaches up. And I lift my chest a little bit and then I leave, bring, reach over towards the leg that's in front. In my case, it's the left. And I feel that right on the inside of that hip bone going up. And then I continue the circle. I reach that arm back and all the way down and around. Keep that front foot where it is, sit those hips back. And come forward, come back, one last child's pose. And roll it up. Lovely. Thank you for coming. <laughs>